Welcome back to the Value Investors Club. I'm your host, Simon Wunderlich. Let's get right into it with VIC Readings, the format where we look at the best of the best investment recommendations by the best of the best value investors. Let's get right into it. Bayer Motorenwerke AG, BMW YY. Filed on September 18 by Nati 1015. Price at that point was $24.98. Investment overview. I believe BMW is potentially an attractive risk reward opportunity at current price levels. The key question is whether BMW can successfully transition an increasing portion of its business from selling mostly internal combustion engine, ICE cars, to electric vehicles, EV, over the coming years and possibly longer term. Whether it has a sustainable future in a driverless car era. Today, the market is pricing the odds of a successful transition to EVs and driverless thereafter as low. As a result of the market skepticism, the stock trades at 0.8x tangible book value and 5x 2023 E consensus earnings per share, EPS. In sports, a 7.8% dividend yield as of 9th 16 2020. BMW is arguably... 2022, I'm sorry. BMW has arguably one of the best luxury brands in the auto industry and owns the super luxury brand Rolls Royce. It has not been sitting still uh, transitioning its business. In 2013, it launched the i3 and i8 and more recently the all-electric iX, i3 and i7 models with plans to roll out more EV models in the coming years. Its goals by 2030 is to have EV models for all market segments and account for at least 50% of its revenue compared to 16% in the first half of 2022. On a price TBV basis, BMW trades at a 10% to 20% discount to the likes of Mercedes-Benz and Volkswagen. I believe uh, there these are the best comps for BMW given a similar brand strength, auto business mix, targeting mass, affordability, affordable luxury, luxury and super luxury, as well as captive finance subsidiaries. Over the past 10 years, uh, BMW has traded in an average PTBV of 1.5x and 8.3x forward EPS. Only in the depths of a COVID-19 pandemic has BMW traded at a lower multiple than where it is now. In fact, VIC member Hawkeye901 wrote BMW up on 5th 2720 and provided an update last month. So please reference those as well for additional information. Over the past 9.5 years, BMW has grown its EPS at a 14% compound annual growth rate CAGR and TBV per share at a 9.7% CAGR, all while paying out a $30 per share in dividends based on 30% to 40% target payout ratio. Valuation slash expected return. Besides looking at TBV and EPS, another way to frame valuation is looking at the company on a sum of the part basis, however theoretical it might be. The three big pieces are its core BMW auto operations, its captive finance subsidiaries and super luxury Rolls-Royce business. Rolls-Royce. In 2021, units sold grew nearly 50% to 5,586 the most annual units ever sold. In the first half of 2022, it grew, grew units sold by 6.8% to 3,191. In 10 years, the company expects all models sold to be entirely EV. While BMW does not give out a ton of information on the business in its quarterly and annual reports based on the average retail price listed of each model sold, total revenue is $2 billion. Using Ferrari and its NYSE race as the closest comp given similarly high price per vehicle sold, applying a comparable mid-20s operating margin and price earnings PE multiple would equate to a $15 billion value for the business. For this value to be realized, it would likely need to spin out or sell off at least a portion of the business. I wouldn't be surprised if there was if there were several interested parties from a sovereign wealth from a sovereign wealth fund to a luxury goods company core bmw backing out the estimated um, 0.5 billion in operating profit from rolls royce would leave 8 billion of operating profit or 7 billion after tax 
After the past 10 years, it grew revenue at a 4.7% CAGR and operating profit at a 1.6% CAGR. For example, applying Ford's NYSEF 7.4x forward PE multiple, a 10% plus discount to BMW's 10-year average PE, equates to $52 billion in value. One thing worth noting is that the business uh, that this business is arguably sitting with seven billion of excess cash. Having excess like liquidity might be the right move if the U.S. and Europe are heading into recession, and BMW might want this capital cushion to help transition its auto production to increasingly EVs in the coming years. As of 6th, 30th, 2022, it had 18.4 billion of cash and cash equivalents against 104.5 billion in LTE, LTM auto revenue, compared to 11.2 billion as of 6th, 30th, um, 21, compared to 95.7 billion in LTM auto revenue. If we look back a decade ago, it had a 6.4 billion of cash and cash equivalents against a 65.7 billion in LTM auto revenue. Financial services. Over the past 10 years, this revenue increased at a 6.1% CAGR, while its income grew at a 9.7% CAGR. Additionally, its equity grew from 7.1 billion to 18 billion, or a CAGR of 9.7% over this period. The finance subsidiary is 8.5 or to 9.x levered to 9x levered and produces a mid-teens ROE to be conservative. Oh, to be conservative, I value it at a TBV of 18 billion. A close comp is Ally Financial Ally, which is the old General Motors Acceptance Corporation GMAC. It is levered over 13x, has a mid-teens ROE and trades at just under TBV. Add it all up and you get a sum of the parts value of 85 billion. If you want to simply apply its average 10-year PE multiple of 8.3x to 2023 E consensus EPS, it gets you to 78 billion. Lastly, if you apply its average 10-year PE TBV of 1.5x, it gets you to 93 billion. These values compared to a market capitalization of 49 billion using the lowest value of 78 billion plus expected dividends translates into upside potential of 70% over the next 12 to 18 months. Risks. BMW does not execute on its EV business transition and loses market share of the, to the likes of Tesla, etc. Thank you very much for tuning in. See you next time. Oh, no, 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 no. We have a catalyst. Catalyst time and or positive announcement of a partial sale or spin-off of the Rolls-Royce business akin to what Volkswagen is doing with Porsche. Thank you very much for tuning in. See you next time.